in any situation. And we learn maximum what we can to make it better. That is the fundament. Shalom. Maybe I disappointed a few people, but uh, I was coming to the conclusion in our uh, management in Israel that, that every, as you said, what is written here, everybody can learn it and everybody must learn it, not only Jewish. If they learn only Jewish, is no good. Hateness and we need threats. We Jewish people in the Israel need friends and we can make friends only with people they are with us. And the easiest thing to make friends with martial, with martial art with young people. We come to them and teach them, they come to us. We teach them, they saw our, our land, they said, say what we are doing, what we was doing. We said, we had five years, they get respect and automatically respect for the Jewish communication, uh, communication in the whole world. And we too. And that is for us most necessary. The first time it was coming, uh, that's 20, it was 20. There was two not Jewish. And they was making a very, very good work till today. They are with us and they make friendship between Israel and uh, between Krav Maga, through the Krav Maga to the young to the young people. And that I think that is one of the necessary things that everybody who will be friends with us shall know and shall learn Krav Maga and teach Krav Maga. If he learns Krav Maga and teach Krav Maga, automatically he's with us. And he brings more friends and we need friends. That is the, what I have to say uh, generally about Krav Maga. That don't shall be a mistake because I don't like to cover things. No. One of the most necessary things that you shall know, everybody who knows Krav Maga, children, he learns better in the school. He, he can decide things, decide things. And that is two things what he needs in, the, in, the, in his whole life. No, that's one of the fundamental two that you should, you know it, but you don't think about it. Now, what is the Krav Maga new? That the fundament is self-defense. In any situation. And we learn maximum what we can to make it better. That is the fundament. Any age is good, but I don't teach him Krav Maga to do. I teach him physical fitness for to, to be in Krav Maga. If he comes to a certain age, I can begin, begin with him. Because I know for uh, Krav Maga, I need the leg. I make the leg more free, the muscle more longer. I give him a certain strain that the punch should be a punch. I make him coordination. Coordination is the most necessary thing for a child. Because if he has coordination, everything he, like, he learns better. Because he knows how to move, how to roll, how to fall. We teach falling, rolling, right side, left side, backward, anywhere. So that no problem for us if I fall with 78 years to fall down and to, and to do that. You know, you know what I mean? That means if I need to fall, I fall. 
Now, that is a child. He grows up with this, how to fall, how to roll, how to jump with the right, with the left leg. He gets a coordination like ballet. You do that, and you do it to the left side, to the right side. That is the same thing. If you have coordination, you learn everything better. He comes to a certain age, he begins to learn how to stay, how to move. So that he comes to an age from eight and a half years. They are teaching from six years old. There are many of them with six, with eight years, they are quite fighters with eight years. But I don't will say it is good or not good. Here I uh, meet myself in a conflict. But I teach the, the, the children to be ready for the Krav Maga. And I think that is the right way if I want to have healthy people for Krav Maga. By us, we, are, we don't make competition. We make fight, but no competition. Because I want that my students, if they're coming to a, that they are in trouble, they shall go in in a fight healthy. Who makes competition? Every time he must get hurt. It must come. Less or more, he must get hurt. Now what we want, that our children, he, if he gives me a child, the parents, I want to give them back. Not as I got them, healthier, better. That is my goal, that is my purpose, and you send your children to me, or your grandchildren to me, for that you send. Not that he gets hurt in the knee, in the neck, in the back, no, I can say, touch wood, that in all the years, I have private schools from 64 I discharged, no serious uh, injury. How you say Injury. 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 Not serious from 61. Then not of my pupils and not of my instructors. Then I say touch me. Because one of the most necessary things is the Tichut Beimunim, the safetyness in the, in the exercises. And you, you do that, I, I say all the time, to do a certain exercise, exercise you have time. You don't know it? Next time. My publisher, my publisher, he, he writes, uh, he's doing my book. He was doing the green belt, and he didn't pass the green belt, because he, one exercise he didn't know. For me, it was the exercise serious. He shall know the exercises. I said, you have time. After a few months, he was doing the exercise easily. I said, no, you are ready. You can go to the blue belt. That is ex exactly what I mean. I must make him ready for the, what he has to learn. 